I love shopping. <laughs> Cincinnati Magazine's April issue is a guide to all things vintage, whether it's clothing, albums, or home decor. You can find a roundup of local places to shop for vintage and antique items. Our friend Amanda Walters is here from Cincinnati Magazine with Maria Johnson, who is a vintage influencer who's on the cover this month. Hey, cover girl. Congratulations. Hi. That was fun, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And I love the cover with the whole hippie vibe on the cover, Isn't Amanda. Isn't it great? It's yeah. so fun. What gave you the idea to do a vintage issue? So vintage is one of those things that just kind of keeps coming back around. Mm -hmm. It's so great because whether you're doing it for the vibes, for the nostalgia of it, for the sustainability, it's just something that is continually made new mm -hmm. because a new generation discovers it every time. And that's really what is so fun and exciting. There's so many great places. It's kind of having a moment now and we kind of wanted to showcase all of that that's going on. Okay, so Maria, you own your own uh, vintage pop-up, DT Vintage Pop-ups. Pop yes. Tell me a little bit about what you do and where you go and where you find your stuff that you sell. Well, honestly, I go all over. My favorite place to go are actually home buys where I go and help somebody clean out. Oh, um, yeah. And just finding anything kitschy, anything unique mm -hmm. or just silly is kind of my thing. Yeah, well, tell me about some of the stuff you brought. Bob went nuts over <laughs> This, this is a hair dryer. This Snoopy right here. How old is that? I that is from the 80s, and okay. I love it. His bow tie is what turns him on, and he comes out of oh my his body. Gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> and you have some just like some little conversation pieces here. Yes, those are art pieces by Jeffrey Rose. Those are from the 70s and ended in the 80s, and they are made out of resin. Okay, my kids would love the Care Bears that had those. <laughs> and then you have an ET tote bag. Yes, I do, I with love the that. tags on it as well. Yeah, and some really cute vintage clothes. I love the idea of vintage clothing because it's good for the planet. Absolutely. So tell me about some of the top spaces that you are profiling in the magazine, Amanda. So we looked at all kinds of different places all over town. We've got Hometown Vintage in Covington. We've got uh, Tim's Picks on Main Street. We've even got some home decor places. There's Castaway is vintage over on the west side. They've got a minimalist kind of vibe, which is very, very cool, and they're also into Cincinnati history, so that's kind of Casablanca neat. over at north side has always been Absolutely, one of my favorites, too. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, and it's not just for going and finding a, a Halloween costume or anything. Why? What are some of the other benefits of vintage, Maria? Well, it's better for the environment. Mm -hmm. Shopping small and then just shopping where it's not fast fashion, it's just so much better for the environment. What kinds of what kinds of looks are coming back around right now? You know now? what's funny? It makes me feel old is the 2000s. <laughs> the early 2000s, the Y2K is what all the young girls and kids call it. That is so funny. Yeah, it cracks me up that like high-waisted jeans are back. <laughs> My daughter made fun of those when she was growing up. Now she's wearing them. Yep. Yeah, yes. <laughs> the 30-year-olds are wearing them now. What are some of your personal favorites in the magazine? Oh my gosh, we have so many. But I think one of the things that was really the most fun was being able to talk to some of the shop owners, mm -hmm. like Maria. Like Maria, yeah. Uh -huh. And we, we talked to Amy from Oddstock Vintage. We talked to um, the folks from uh, Jet Black Vintage, and they do some really great, like, upcycled things okay. with dead stock fabric, which is super, super cool. Very design forward. It's just, it's so neat how the new vintage sellers are making this kind of their own thing and they're yeah. selling on social and they're doing pop-ups and they have their merch in some of the antique malls okay, and it's just good. it's just a really it's a new way of doing vintage so you can get Cincinnati magazine online or wherever you buy your magazines but where are you going to be next Maria let's give you a little publicity actually the next place I'm going to be is Velocity Bike and Bean in Florence what day uh you know what that will be mm, April 20th, sorry. April 20th, <laughs> Velocity Bike and Bean. Yes. I like that place. Okay, thanks, Maria. Thank you, Amanda. Thank Fun you. issue. Thanks. I promise you'll find something in there you never heard of before. It's hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest. You don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.